Hello, uh, Strasbourg here. This is Harry Hartmann from Germany. Uh, I want to tell you a little bit about the fiber read and also about me. I'm ja Musikant Igrayu na Saxophonie. So I study saxophone in Stuttgart and I made a master's degree uh, in 1986. And during my studies I always want to make the reeds better because I see the, the problems uh, the woodwind players have. And the drum skins already are from uh, synthetic material and also the strings of the instrument, the, the string instrument are not from the uh, gut, it's also synthetic and uh, also the tennis rackets, everything changed from wood to synthetic materials and that's why I developed these reeds uh, in the 1990 years. So uh, the first thing I invented is uh, this white material which is, uh, 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 I, I take the natural cane material and looked through a microscope and then I found out that there are longitudinal uh, channels. And you take a cane reed and you blow at the end, the air comes out here. So I thought that there is a lot of, of whole, hollow space inside. And what I did is just, I rebuilt the natural structure of the cane with uh, synthetic fibers. So we have synthetic hollow fibers. They are hollow like a macaroni uh, and they are surrounded by a foaming resin which is like the cellular structure of the cane reed. So I just make the same structure like a natural reed to give the reed the most narrow sound to cane as possible. So that's the idea how I start uh, and how I build the material. And after a few years we tried this uh, to make them carbon fibers inside. And I will talk later uh, what differences in sound we have. But uh, to just to explain uh, these are the hollow fibers and the black are the real carbon fibers and the newest development is the hemp reed which is uh, the white hollow fiber and here we have the natural hemp fibers and this is real wood it's birch and nut tree wood so this is a totally new combination because it combinates natural material with the fibers and it has more than 80% uh, natural materials. So, in general you can say um, this reed is the most brightest and gives a very shiny, bright, high register and a lot of overtones with uh, the carbon material. and. Uh, this material is a little darker in sound and uh, this is the uh, darkest. It also depends a lot on, on which cut because here you can see we have the straight cut and it's the same here but here we have the a different cut with its bold cut. So these are different feelings and uh, finally every player has to play a reed with his mouthpiece because it's very individual and uh, it depends also on your mouth and, and your throat and your, your lung and also what uh, kind of sound imagination you have if you want to have a heavy bright sound or if you prefer a low big sound and uh, so the most important is for you as a player to have the, a, a very good combination of reed and mouthpiece that really fits together and that you can feel comfortable. The, for me, that's my well, well, hint to you, you have to feel comfortable on the mouthpiece and it, it should be easy, it should be easy to play because everybody will sound like uh, he 
has a sound in his mind. But uh, it should be easy. So that's the general thing to say for the sound. This is the darkest, maybe the closest to Cain, because when the people uh, say something which they're not happy with, this week they say, oh, they are maybe a little too much in the bright, on the bright side. But uh, it depends. I mean, if you like bright reads, it's, you will be very happy with it. But if you like, uh, they are a little brighter than natural cane reads. So if you compare it with cane, this is the closest we have ever done. This is only one material of maybe 20 different I made. I always have uh, make new combinations and then I try it out and make some reads and though this was a material where I said oh it, it sounds very good and it looks very good and the the other reason is that uh, I personally like uh, natural the nature very much so I thought oh, it would be nice to have some natural material where it doesn't disturb because here at the tip we need the synthetic material to, to get uh, all the reeds that they are sound uh, the same. So this material, it's, it's especially done for our production and it's not a, you cannot buy it in, in, in some shop, it's only for us, very special, uh, only for the reeds. There is a question, uh, if this material was uh, 80 more than 80% natural uh, materials inside, last the same. Yes, uh, definitely will last the same because the only thing, the only part which is uh, very sensible is, is the part here. But it's, I mean, if you do this with the cane weed, it will be broken, but you can see here, it, it, it does not happen anything. I do not, please don't do that with your weed, but I, I know I can do it and nothing happened. And, uh, so these reeds, they will last the same because the only thing, I mean, these reeds last for about uh, 20 to 30 times longer uh, compared to uh, cane reeds. So like 20 to 30 cane reeds, but they only cost about 10 cane reeds. So it's really worth uh, to, to uh, use them if, if they fit for you. And also, what happens after a few weeks or months of use, maybe little pieces break out here, and you can take a, a sandpaper a grain uh, 600, and you can just make like this, and make it again smooth. Also, when you want to make the reed a little harder, you do it like this, to, you short it. It's better not to use a, a, a traditional reed cutter because this material is too hard. And, and if you want to make the reed softer, you make it like, like this with sanding paper. You can work on this reed. You cannot work on, on every reed, but on this uh, you can uh, work. 